Simpsons for a build challenge, we're gonna try and see if I can build a house out of this checkerboard shell. This is kind of similar to like the honeycomb shell that I did a little while back in the sense that this is going to be very unique, clearly kind of weird, and very difficult to pull off. You guys know on this channel, we love to do some weird shells like this all the time, so let's get started. First thing I think I wanna do, I'm kind of picturing this to be two different apartments possibly. Like we've got eight squares here, they're all two by three. So if we do like half down this side as one apartment and the other half like as the other, then I think that could be really cool. I'm also wondering if I could make this like less weird of a shape by going in with this eagle lifestyle fence, kind of just like wherever there's an opening. I'm hoping that when we do this, it'll kind of like square it off and make it look not so like non-symmetrical. Like that looks so cool. I'm almost getting like eco vibes right off the bat from that. I'm gonna go in and attempt to do my roof here. So I was thinking we could either do platforms, which I would have to do different heights, I think, to make it look interesting. And the problem is this is four floors, so I couldn't really go on there with like a fence or anything. I kind of have no choice but to either roof it or use platforms. I kind of think it could be cool to do something like that for my roof. It's risky, or I could go in and we could roof it this way, just with like one half gabled roof piece and then go in with other ones and kind of like turn them the other way. Like something like that. I think the other way might look cooler. Let's try it. Like I said, it's risky, <laughs> but if we could make it look cool, I mean, I've never roofed anything like this before. I also like that it's off center a little bit. I'm gonna add some flooring in between here so that when I put this thing on a foundation, we're gonna be able to lift that up as well. And we'll just like extend that all the way along the front. Okay, let's raise it up. It's gonna be really hard to get this thing to be functional because I'm gonna have to use ladders, maybe stairs if I could make it look cool. We've got stairs. I'm trying to make everything about this build like weird abstract. It's either gonna pay off or bite us in the end. And I'm kind of excited to see which way it goes to be honest. Okay, so I'm using this foundation from Get Famous. I also have a feeling this is gonna be a little bit all over the place. Cause like I said, we are making this up as we go. <laughs> I'm just gonna use a regular no so drab slab concrete in white for my roofing. And for our platform paint, I'm gonna go with just like a white brick for now. Oh, you know what? We could even do this as like a rooftop like garden. Not one that you would go to tend obviously, but like with trees up there or something. I'm gonna keep this in mind. I actually saw this a lot. I went to Vancouver recently and like all the apartments have trees on top of them. <laughs> like greenery in any way possible. It's honestly really beautiful. Let's make this entryway look kind of cool. So I'm gonna go in with a half wall. Might also do a little homemade planter. I don't know why I am so obsessed with these lately. And if we go in and do that, that can get a little bit of privacy between the decks here. So maybe this person has this patio. If they're nice, maybe they'll share it. <laughs> and then this person has their own like separate entrance. Get some dirt in there. And I'm gonna go in with like these little things. I like to shrink them down once and then raise them all the way up to about here. And then we've got a homemade planter. So I'm gonna do that for both of these. I actually put some cacti in there and I think they look so cute. I'm also gonna do some terrain paint right here. I'm kind of skipping ahead to this like landscaping phase. Cause if I don't, I don't really know if we're gonna get the vibe right with like the windows and the wallpaper. Cause honestly, once I put the windows on this thing, the wallpaper isn't really even gonna matter. So all these small details are gonna be really what counts in this build. We have our two small mailboxes and I need some trash cans. You know what's sad? I wanted to build this in the eco lifestyle world for like Evergreen Harbor because it was kind of serving that vibe. I still can't build in that world. It's 100% broken for me unless I go into like live mode and build that way, but I don't really want to have to do that. I used to tend to lean towards more like messy landscaping. Lately, I'm all about these like clean edges. I think I'm gonna go in with some half walls, but only for certain levels. I was gonna do it for all of them, but I think it kind of looks cool just having a few. Unless we go in with like a smaller wall height for these ones. I think it kind of looks cool with like the different height. Okay, for wallpaper, let's go in with maybe eco lifestyle. I kind of want to keep it like pretty light and then with my windows, they'll be darker. Like I'm loving this warm kind of like beigey color that we're using with like the fencing and even this trim. I'm going to keep it that color, I think. So I could definitely see our windows and doors and stuff being that slight contrast. Actually, it's really helpful that we went in with those half walls too because now I can go in with my trim very easily. I don't have to like cheat the system to make it work. This does not look the way that I thought it was gonna look. I had no idea, honestly. I thought maybe we would go with like a cyberpunk, neon kind of vibe with this shell. Eco modern seems to be uh, the winner for today. Those snowy escape windows make it look a little bit less like modern in a way, but I kind of like it. Let's attempt the top landscaping. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this. I feel like if I just like straight up put a tree up there, it would be weird. Unless we got like the right one, but I just feel like it's a little bit too much. Like, right or no? <laughs> it's funny because 
like two seconds ago, I was like, yeah, I think I'm leaning more towards landscaping of the minimal variety. Meanwhile, I am literally landscaping a roof. Yeah, I don't think I've ever landscaped around a chimney before. We're just gonna hide some lights in there. And I think in terms of like my rooftop landscaping, I'm just gonna keep it like that. Still abstract, still kind of unique and different, but not too overwhelming. I'm gonna go in and add some minimal, but like modern details here. So I'm actually using this from Get Together. I had these originally, which I thought looked cool, but if I stack them together underneath that like awning, then it makes a cool pattern and it kind of correlates with like the eco lifestyle fence that we're using. I like that. I think it looks kind of cool. I'm also considering like these window boxes from Spot A. Those definitely add to the eco vibe. I like it. And I think I'm gonna get some hanging lights in here. We can start to kind of decorate the interior a little bit. I do want to figure out the layout, how we're gonna do like the ladder situation and stuff, which I think might get messy if we don't do it carefully. So first thing we know we need is a door. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get a door for both of these. Let's keep them the same. So one door there, one door there. So each apartment has their own like entry now. I'm just gonna use this little like strip light from Spa Day. So a lot of Spa Day and Eagle Lifestyle, I find those two surprisingly go really well together. We're also getting a little bit of luxury too. I put these like Spa Day chandeliers in there, which like, yeah, with the lighting, this is starting to look so cool. Okay, let's figure out the layout. I'm gonna go one, one side at a time and whatever we do to the left, we'll just do to the right. So basically each side is like alternating. So you'll like walk in this one room through a patio and then you'll end up on the patio. Then there's a room and it continues on. These rooms are really small. So I would prefer not to have the ladder really go into each one, but I don't know how I'm gonna avoid that unless they got there from the back. Hold on, bear with me a sec. I'm building out these half walls here, sort of like balconies, but I'm planning on putting doors, I think on every single one. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. This got a little bit confusing, but I figured it out. Now each apartment also has their own like balcony back here. So it kind of worked out pretty nicely. So on the bottom floor, we've got stairs leading up to this one and I stretched it all the way across so that the doors kind of like go in that way. So no one is gonna be entering from like this part here. Like everyone is gonna be coming in like this way. So the stairs lead up and then we've got a ladder on this side, which leads up to this floor. Got our doors back behind there and then stairs leading up to the top floor as well. I also did a little bit of decor so that like, like I said, everyone has their own balcony, seating area, stuff like that. So now I think we can go in and start to do the inside. I haven't decided if I want them to be like identical. I might do like the same flooring and make like the layout the same. So like the position and like the area in which like each room is located can be the same, but the decor will be like a little bit different. Let's start on the left. So this one here will be, this is gonna be the living room. For this one, I'm definitely gonna keep the same color scheme. We're gonna go with that beige, green, neutral kind of color. It's gonna be really small too. Like these are not big rooms. This challenge is kind of hard in itself. So what if we do chairs together like that? So it's kind of like a love seat, not quite, but it doesn't take up that much room. We've got a bookshelf to the side, our TV here. I was sort of thinking just doing something like that. So there's a little bit of decor, but it's like not sticking out. Your Sims will still be able to get in here. And I think we're gonna leave our first living room like this. Maybe this one could have more of like a soft color scheme. So I've got my two couches there from Dream Home Decorator. I put them together. Like maybe this one has more like stylish vibes or something, or maybe even paranormal because I'm loving how that looks. So this living room in here, we've got our lamp minus the bookshelf for the other one. This one's got more to do, I guess. Let's go upstairs. The next room we're gonna do, this is gonna be the kitchen, I think. I could also include a door leading out to this balcony and this balcony, and then we could do the dining room outside. It's still covered by the roof and with kitchen and all those essentials in the other room. I think for the uh, this apartment, it would look really cool if we did like a bar table, or maybe we do it for this one because it'll match the height. Since we did those different like half wall heights, I think that'll work. And then we can go in with some little bar stools. Let's use these ones. Ooh, wait, that's not a bar table. My life is a lie. Wait, what is the actual bar table? I guess we'll use this one from Discovery University. Not really what I had in mind, but I think it kind of looks cool. It's like almost like built into the wall. And then we've got our two chairs. I could put like a plant out here, some decor, even just something cute like that with the lemons. And then our kitchen will be in here. Okay, we're gonna have to wrap this around kind of strategically. I think I'm gonna use these green counters from Dream Home Decorator. So we can have prep there on that corner. We're gonna have to do Dream Home Decorator oven. Our sink can go right there. And the only thing I'm missing is a garbage, which I could honestly just put right outside here. Oh, and I'm realizing I need a railing for this little spot. Yeah, I'm gonna put it just like right here, nice and close if you have to throw it out, anything while you're cooking. And then for decor in here, I love that green with this snowy escape thing. Let's do tiny living 
pictures like those ones there. I'm gonna raise up a plant. Honestly, just like a tiny bit of clutter. I can't put anything there because that's where I'm gonna prep. And this is where I'm gonna leave my kitchen and my dining for this one. And then for this one, ooh, that looks actually really pretty. That's from Get Together. Let's use these from Snowy Escape. Kind of gonna have to do the same layout. Like I don't really know if there's any other way that I could even do it. Except this time we'll use Snowy Escape oven right there instead. You know what? Let's do the breakfast pictures. Look how cute that looks. I added this little shelf here. Maybe I can just put like a plant on there or something. Like extra clutter. <laughs> I think that looks so cute. Okay, so now our kitchen is done in here. Our table here is gonna be kind of small, but that's okay because I don't really think there's gonna be more than like one or two people living here anyway. Honestly, just because like the upstairs, I'm not gonna be able to fit a big bed. But there is our kitchen. That looks so cute right there with the chandelier. I'm gonna have to move it over a little bit, but how cute is that? Actually, I'll just shrink it. Okay, so now we're gonna go upstairs and do the bathrooms and then finally the, the top floor will be our bedroom. I am gonna include the doors to the balconies as well. Oop, this one has to go over here. And then we could do like a skill item or something out here. So for my bathroom, I'm using Snowy Escape shower and toilet. And then we can put a sink over on this little corner. I'm gonna use that one from base game and then we can go ahead and get a mirror right behind it. And we're gonna add in our hints of green that we've kind of been using for like this entire side. By the way, let me know in the comment section which apartment ends up being your favorite. So far, I think I'm rooting for like the right one, the more like sandy colored, like pinkish one, but you never know. So this is gonna be my bathroom for the one side. And then for the other, I'm again gonna use similar stuff, just maybe in like a different swatch. Bathrooms and buildings like this, I don't know. I feel like they tend to be pretty similar in the first place. For this one, maybe instead we'll add like a hanging plant. For the exterior, I kind of wanna do a yoga place, like a yoga mat right here. It would make sense why we're right next to the bathroom. Then you can go and shower when you're done. Actually, maybe I'll do like workout equipment for both. So this one can just have the yoga mat. I'm gonna go into spa day and grab like a speaker as well We can have some little towels out here in the corner and then for the other side Let's add like a punching bag again These are kind of items that I don't really use that often Like I don't think I've put a punching bag in my builds in so long So this is gonna be kind of cool I'm also noticing so many like un wallpapered walls just because there's so many like weird dimensions to this build So yeah, that can have that maybe I could even do like a small TV out here with like I don't know a soccer ball and and yeah, there we go. Oh my god, my light. Okay, and now upstairs, all we have to do is the final bedroom, which, like I said before, I think is gonna be a little bit tricky because we do not have a lot of room. Yeah, like, it has to be a single bed. All right, for this side, I'm gonna use that one from Dream Home Decorator. Maybe a couple of mirrors there from Snowy Escape. My dresser is gonna have to be so small. Actually, let's do the mirrors on this side, and we can do, like, tiny living dresser right there. And maybe since we've determined that these people are athletic, I'm gonna add a little picture there, like, of a team or something, and just like the last time, I'm gonna add a door going into the patio and honestly, they're gonna have so much to do in this like, in this build. Maybe this can be just like a cute little cozy like seating area with like an ottoman, a plant and maybe a rug. I think I'm actually also gonna put a bookshelf right here or we could put one on here so they could just like grab a book and go out there. Okay, and then for the final bedroom, let's do this one here. This person has painted their entire bedroom purple. Maybe this can be some kind of like athletes housing like, you know when you go to, I don't know, a destination where you're doing a sport and you have to stay somewhere? Maybe this is like a hotel for athletes <laughs> or like a short-term residence for athletes or something like that. That's sort of the vibe I'm getting here. Maybe in this corner, I'll just put a little poof from Island Living. This actually kind of makes a lot of sense now. <laughs> so then outside, let's add like, I don't know, a treadmill. Since the other person had a little gym, we did have yoga, but let's also get a treadmill. This person's trying to get ahead of the game. And all we have to do is put like a small little end table right here with like a plant on it, some core and there we go so this has been the checker shell build challenge if you guys like this let me know in the comment section down below also if you guys want to download this and kind of modify it a lot of people did that with my honeycomb build challenge you are more than welcome it's easy to make the outcomes are endless and yeah that's all i got for you guys you can find this on the gallery under sydney macarena thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one